So hamstring. Dude, yeah, that's we're... exactly it. It's so much of it's mental, right? You're like, yeah, I can't believe I'm 50 years old and I'm doing this thing I've never done before. <laughs> right. That's awesome. And I, and I, I've skied my whole life, not a ton, but I, you know, I know how to ski. I used to ski on one ski all the time. And I, so in my memory, I'm like, it's just so hard to get up and everything. Well, then I was like, well, wait a minute. I don't have to get up on one ski. I can get up on two skis. And then it was fine. <laughs> I was fine. And I wasn't even like crisscross. I wasn't even, I mean, I was sore, but like totally acceptable <laughs> level of <laughs> pain and discomfort. So I was like, okay, good to know. Now I have to keep going so that I don't lose it again. Exactly. I thought you looked <laughs> like, an, like a pro. I didn't think that's wild to hear that, it, that you were sore from it even. Well, you know, I was sore in weird places. Like my neck was sore and I thought that was interesting. Hinge and swing. Um, so I must've been straining a little bit through my neck and it just feels a little more like at this stage, you know, like if I wipe out, it's going to be <laughs> a long <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I so I, Hucky <laughs> fell. He was on his motorcycle, but he was standing, you know, like he was at a full stop and he fell off. We spent the day yesterday finding out if he had broken ribs or not. Yeah. He doesn't. Exactly. Good. But Good. <laughs> Well, I wiped out a couple times because then, yeah, once I got off and I was like, oh, I'm fine. Then I was starting to do tricks, <laughs> trying to do tricks and wiping out. <laughs> uh, so like leaning down and touching the water. I had never done that before. Jog in place or jog around your room. But my husband always does. And so I was like, oh, I feel fine on two skis. I'll try it. And, and so I did it on one side and wiped out on the other. But I was like, check me out. Like I was thought I couldn't ski at all. And here I am like doing a new trick. <laughs> so... <laughs> I was feeling pretty good about it. I think that's awesome. Thank you. We are all breaking the mold here, side skips. Oh, the other thing we did for the first time on Sunday was we played pickleball. Oh boy. <laughs> I know, it's like, here we go. It was fun. Is it just racquetball, but without the walls? It's racquetball, tennis, badminton. All right, modified jumping jacks. So it's a wiffle ball, small paddles, like paddle, like a racquetball on a mini tennis court, <laughs> regular jacks if you can. Um, so it's a kind of a combination of the three in my mind. And I tell you what was hard. First of all, I don't, I don't play games like that. Rest. All right, let's do alternating hip circles next. Is pivoting. So it's been a while since I've done an activity or a sport. I mean, we do side skips and stuff, but it makes you realize when you try to do a hard pivot. Um, and that's what was kind of feeling like, oh, I should train this because one of my knees was kind of talking to me by the end um, from doing that. Change that to step back, arms overhead. Alternate. So um, the kids are super into spike ball and that also involves a lot of like pivot and squatting. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was excited to read your post about wanting to add stuff about that in because like pivot and deep squatting is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Squat side bend next. Speaking of squats, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things like it's, they're hard to put in, you know, I mean, they take space, they take, it's just, I mean, be it's careful because you don't want to injure. That's right. If it's just the three of us and we know what we've been doing, you know, but like, it just depends on who's in the group and everything. So, but also just, I can come up with a few exercise drills that we can add on our own. Um, having space is nice. So if you can do some stuff outside. Take you back to your high school sports life if you did that kind of thing. Okay, inhale, arms up, big reach, forward bend. I am sore from push ups yesterday. I'll roll it up. <laughs> Do it again. I really slacked on my workouts. On the break, I did one hard workout, I water skied, and that was it. <laughs> so I'm going to be sore all week from my workouts. Hang out in your forward bend. 
I showed up on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays while you were away. Awesome. It's just so I can keep up with the kids. Really and Renee. Up. And Renee. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep up with all the people in your life. <laughs> okay. Exercise one is 10 squats, 10 squat pulses, 10 squat jumps. Jumps are optional. Exercise two is overhead pressing, but from above. So down up. Arms. So usually a little bit lighter dumbbells because we're going 45 seconds. Alternative is a regular alternating overhead press if that bothers your neck or shoulders in the wrong way. And then the cardio burst is two push ups, four plank jacks. So I'm going to put my hands on like a library table. So it's kind of in between. It's not super low and it's not super high. You could always do that on the floor. You could do two knee push ups, pop up into plank to do the four plank jacks. That would be an option. All right, 10 squats are first. I'm counting reps on this one. No weights, body weight squat, whatever position feels best on your hips and knees, ready? Here we go, down for one. One, exhale, push back up. Two, pause at the bottom. Three, four. It's also time for a um, fit test soon. It's been a couple months. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, down and pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press up. If you want to jump, count your jumps. Ten reps. those jumps hello oh. halfway through i was like i really need the fan on <laughs> oh. all right overhead press alternating arms down up usually a medium heavy dumbbell somewhere in that range i have to count you down and get you started before i can get into position because of where my timer is three two, one, go. Now palms forward or palms center and try not to shrug your shoulders up by your ears. More time under tension this way because holding it overhead is an exercise by itself. Try not to arch your back, so brace your abs, flex your glutes nice and tall. Switch to the regular version if it gets to be too much. I'm feeling yesterday's push ups. Push ups make me sore every time I do them now. Nice and easy out. Oh. Speaking of push ups, <laughs> two push ups, four plank jacks. Maybe I'll do this on my fireplace. Since I'm recording, I need to find a spot where I can get in the camera. 45 seconds, two push ups, four plank jacks in position. Three, two, one, go. Remember to bend your elbows in such a way that from behind you look like an arrow when you're at the bottom of the push up. Not a T. Ha ha ha, bottom of the push up. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds. Woo, these are hard to take. Three, two, and one. Walk around, catch your breath, take a break. Okay, and plank jacks are just like when you're down with your hands on the table thing and your legs are just going apart and together, right? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. You're in plank, 
and doing like jumping jack feet. Oh, it is a sweaty day. It is a sweaty day. <laughs> Earning our shower here. All right, take a few more deep breaths. We're going back to the squats. We are on week three of this cycle. All right. Feels like day one. Not gonna lie. <laughs> week three feels like week one. <laughs> 10 body weight squats. We're ready. Set up. Here we go. Lower it down for one. Exhale, push up. Two. Sit back in the heels. Three. Chest up, looking mostly forward. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Regular squats should feel easy peasy right now. Eight compared to the jumps. Nine. And 10. Down in pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come up, count your jumps. Aim for 10, up to 10. Scream, cry, complain. <laughs> oh, goodness. That must feel hard today. Ooh. I tell you what's killing me is like, I'm in the mood for a hard workout on Mondays because usually I don't do a ton on the weekends. Or if I do, it's not really a workout. It's more like, you know, life playing life. And, uh, but then on Tuesdays, I'm always like, why did I do that yesterday? <laughs> Overhead press, down up from the top. Three, two, one, go. Eh, can't get in the position. I was like, what are you doing, Laura? You're not an overhead press. <laughs> I know. I need like a sound activated timer. Ooh, that's a good invention. Somebody should make that for me. <laughs> Get my son on that. Speaking of, I said, get my son on that. And he just texted. I've got, I learned how to do a unique sound for certain people on my texting. So Same. I love it. Me too. Woo. Shoulders. Hug the abs, flex the glute. Rest. Ah, yeah, yeah. All Super hard. Shops. I know. It is. I'm with you. Two push-ups, four plank jacks, 45 seconds. Go to your station. Get set up. Going in three, two, one, go. Feeling whiny. <laughs> Past halfway. Twelve seconds to go. Four, three, two. And one. Horrible. Rest, walk around. I tell you what, I felt like, um, I mean, I was on break, so I did eat more junk than usual, and I overate more than I normally do. And, but I really think what got me was um, sodium. You know, like oh, yeah. crackers, like munching on yeah. crackers all day and stuff is like, I felt really bloated. And just after a couple days of like slamming water and not eating salty stuff, I feel back to normal. I'm like, okay, that's good to know. It's like, did I gain 10 pounds on my, on my break? <laughs> Felt like it. Yeah, those late night campfire snacks, you know, when you wake up and you're like, knuckles are all swollen and yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. 
so great. 10 squats, 10 pulses, 10 jumps. Final set, ready, set, here we go. Lower down, one, two, three. Focus on really good form on these, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, down and pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, press up, 10 jumps, count your jumps. Stop with me. <laughs> Scream. <sighs> Jesus. Pound it out. That's the perfect amount because um, like on eight, it's killing me. And I'm like, I can't do nine and 10. And then I do it. Whew. I know there's a part of me that's like set three, as many as you can. And it's like, I think 10 is as many as we can. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm like on number 10, did my feet leave the ground? I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> as, long, as long as I'm still upright, I'm good. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They turn real fast. Like one minute you're fine, the next minute you're like, not fine, not fine. <laughs> All right, overhead press. Grab your dumbbells, get set up. Going in three, two, one, go. From overhead, palms face forward, palms, uh, bleh, palms face center. Don't arch your back. Try to keep your shoulders planted where they belong. So you're not trying to reach the dumbbell as high as possible because that will pull the shoulder up next to your ear. Last set. Almost there. There's your beat, nice and easy out of that. Two push-ups, four plank jacks. I really need a higher surface for this set. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. One thing you can do if the push-ups get to be too much, you can do one push-up. You could do just plank jacks, make it what you need it to be. I might get to that point where I can't do any more push-ups. 45 seconds in position, three, two, one, go. I'm trying, I'm trying knee push-ups. All right, I like it. Because those regular push-ups are killing me. <laughs> Laughing. It's taking me like three counts to press up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like slow motion push ups. Almost done. Three, two, and one. Done. Walk around. Oh, that was a hard circuit. <sighs> hard circuit. Okay, get a drink, catch your breath. Whoops, I started my timer. I didn't mean to. That's okay. We're gonna be doing step down. So like step ups, but you're gonna step down slowly with control so that we can hit hamstrings and glutes more. You might wanna be close to something you can touch like a wall because there's a lot of balance involved in that variation. You could always switch it to regular step ups would be a good alternative. We're going to hinge and fly. That's with lighter medium weights, hinge down, one fly and then stand. And then cardio is fast feet and side skips. Fast feet and side skips. Fun times. All right, let's see how we're doing on time. There's our beat. All right, you start, I think we do 10 for legs, let me check. Yeah, okay, so you start on the top of your stepper. I'm using a chair. And so this is where you 
take three counts to get down. So down, 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 push off and come right back up. Essentially a four count move. All right, I would say do your strong leg first on set one and then weak leg first on sets two and three, okay? Set one's kind of a nice warm up. It's good to get the groove on the strong side. For me, that's my left leg. So that's the leg that stays on the step and the weaker side steps down if you've got one. 10 reps, I'm gonna count them out. Ready, set, here we go. Down, 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 push off, press up. Down, 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 push off. Are we just doing one leg or switching? No, not switching. Repeat on the strong side. Here's four, four, four. Good question. Five, five, five. Hold on if you need to. Six, 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 seven, seven, seven. Soft landings. Eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. Nice. One more. 10, 10, 10. Ooh, shake it out, other side. All right, other leg, ready, set. Three counts, here we go. Down, 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 push off right back up. Down, down, down. Watch that front knee, that top knee, make sure it's not wobbling side to side. A lot of balance. Hold on if it's moving too much. Watch it. Watch it wobble side to side. <laughs> Look how it wobbles side to side so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> ah, halfway. Six, six, six. Yeah, watch so it does not wobble. Seven, seven, seven. I have to hold on more on my weak side. Eight. You guys hear my peanut gallery back here? Eight. I hear something, but I don't hear what. <laughs> He's like, soft landing, softer landing. And then he's like, when are you going to be doing a pistol swap, Renee? Oh, yeah, that's coming. Right that's after coming. you, Xander, right after you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's funny because when I water skied and I wiped out at one point, and the neighbors pointed out someone else skiing, and they're like, they didn't wipe out. And I said, you can talk crap to me right after you go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all like, ooh. <laughs> As they're sitting there watching me drinking beer, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. Hinge reverse fly is the next one. So, kind of somewhere between light and medium is good for this. We'll go 10 reps. Are your knees? Blades. Hmm? Okay. Tell me what your elbows and knees are doing. All right. My knees, I hinge down. So, my knees bend, back stays flat. <laughs> And elbows don't lock, and then I do this. So I squeeze uh, shoulder blades together, activate upper back muscles, and then stand up, push hips forward. Four or four, <laughs> ten reps. Four reps. <laughs> Heavy weights. <laughs> yeah, right. Grab your fifties. We're doing four. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hinge down, abs brace. One fly. Push your hips forward. Stand tall. Hips forward. Shoulders back. Here's two. Squeeze your butt when you push your hips forward. Here's three. Think about flexing the upper back muscles. Four. On the, okay. on the video from the side, it looks like your elbows are bent. So it got, it was confusing. They are, my arms are straight, but they're not locked. Yeah. There's seven. Eight. nine and 10. Good, with good form, set those down. Fast feet, side skip. So fast feet, four, three, two, one, side skip down back. If you can alternate which way you, I think, oh yeah, I figured out that two weeks ago that I could like fast feet and turn <laughs> and side skip using the right leg and then fast feet, turn, left leg lead. So I just want you to try to alternate legs. Three, two, one, go. Fast feet for four, three, two, one. Side skip down, side skip back. Fast feet, four, three, two, one, side skip. Make the side skips harder, bend your knees, go a little bit lower. 
you could punch across, you could reach for the floor at the end. Just trying to get the heart rate up. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew, walk around. Try not to sit down only if you're dizzy or nauseous. Which by the way, two weeks ago, I had a client get really nauseous, have to sit down. And today I had a client get dizzy, had to sit down. We think both of them were heat related. Yeah. It's hard to sit hydrated in this these temperatures. And I was reading that you're actually, you're hydrating for the next like 36 hours in advance. When you drink water, it's really for the future you. Right, so when you're doing it now, it's, it's like, it's too late. You're just trying to prevent future exactly. damage. So when the temperature spikes, like yesterday when it was 60 at the campsite, I wasn't drinking gallons of water, you know? That's and exactly right. That's the thing where it's like, be as hydrated as possible at all times so that you're somewhat prepared for the bad times. All right, step downs. Weak leg first. So the strong leg, if you have one, is going to be stepping down. Weak leg stays on top doing all the work. Little shade there if you have one. If you have one. <laughs> if you have a strong leg. <laughs> 10 reps, here we go, down down, down, push right back up, pushing into that heel, down, 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 push up. Three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, 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 seven, 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 Eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. Ooh, one more. Ten, ten, ten. Good. Shake it out. I will say when people struggle with this move, because it's hard, they usually get like halfway down and then they kind of lose the control on the bottom yeah. half of that step down. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yes, and so that's why holding on is a good idea because it will help you a little. So as you build up the endurance and strength at the bottom there, slowing it down even more, stuff like that. Other side, here we go. Down, 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 press up. Two, 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 push. Three, 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 four, four, four. Five, 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 six, 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 seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, 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 one more, ten, ten, ten. Woo, pushing up. <laughs> That you hear a sigh or your step. Hinge and reverse fly is coming up next. I think we're going to do two sets of this circuit because of time. If you're doing the recording, you could pause and do a third set. All right, grab your dumbbells, light or medium, somewhere in that range. Hinge, reverse fly, arms mostly straight, back stays straight on the way down and the way up. Knees bend to accommodate three. Two, one, here we go. Hinge down, abs hugged in, one fly. Stand, hips forward, shoulders back. Two, three, four. Pull those shoulder blades together, flex those back muscles. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. 
with good form, set those down. Fast feet, side skips, 45 seconds. Take a breath or two to get ready. Check your space, going in three, two, one, go. Fast feet for four, three, two, one, side skip, and back. Fast feet. I feel like these side skips should help me with pivoting, but it's not a hard pivot, that's one thing. So definitely in the right category for helping with those sports. Really a good drill, Renee, is if you think about being in like a gymnasium or on your driveway, like side skip in a zigzag fashion, like down the driveway and start to pivot and push off on the end a little harder each time. There's your beep, rest. It also like involves joint flexibility, like ankle and knee flexibility. So yeah. Yes. Um, holding the bottom of a really deep squat, even just holding onto something for help. So if you sit down into one of those really low squats, drop your butt down as far as you can. And then once you're down here, like I have one ankle that's way more flexible than the other and leaning from side to side and pushing forward into those toes. And you can tell if one ankle feels more restricted than the other, the heel starts to peel up. That can be a nice exercise slash warm up. Ooh, I'm out of breath. 